Now, this is a great question, and you're exactly right, but let me dive a little deeper here. The difference between XWOBA and WOBA is XWOBA takes into account each batted ball's expected results by removing the defense. WOBA, on the other hand, simply takes into account what has happened. Now, when we go to evaluate a great player, what we want to see is that they have accomplished great results throughout a season, aka they have a great WOBA. To me, I don't really care if you have the best XWOBA because that doesn't mean you actually accomplished those results. But if you're going to try and compare which players will perform better in the future, you can take the difference between XWOBA and WOBA. This list shows us the unluckiest players of this last season. It helps show why XWOBA is a great predictive stat. When you see a large discrepancy between the two, you can expect players to perform better or worse in coming years. Thanks for the great question. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more.